And of course, we saw all those pictures that were making the rounds on social media. I think at some point we saw even a car dealership, uh, a video from a car dealership with many of the brand new vehicles uh, damaged. Uh, some of the windows actually uh, basically just broken uh, in terms of the fact that there was that hailstorm yesterday. People posting uh, videos and pictures of their own vehicles that were damaged. So uh, we'll be speaking to um, an insurance company at some point today just to find out from them what what you should look out for when you are getting insurance for both your home and your car. Uh, do, have they always rather uh, covered for uh, mother nature um, casualties when it comes to people's properties? Or is this something that they're adding to their clause now because of what's been happening uh, around South Africa in recent days? Probably because of global warming. We've seen uh, very heavy storms damaging a lot of infrastructure, even our roads. For instance, what happened in Kaiser in last April uh, still being uh, felt today. Some people still missing and infrastructure uh, basically just uh, broken. Let's uh, uh, actually speak to um, this story now. Houting residents are counting the cost of last night's devastating hailstorm. In Johannesburg, for instance, infrastructure, homes and cars were left severely damaged with roads blanketed by hail. In the meantime, insurance companies are beginning to feel the strain. To unpack this further for us, I am joined by experienced partner at King Price Insurance, Veinand von Furen. Uh, Mr. Van Furen, thank you very much for your time here on ENC. Of course, uh, since yesterday, just tell me if King Price, for instance, has received any calls uh, with people wanting to claim. Yes, Ms. Seho, unfortunately, the, the, the claims are streaming in. We know that there's been severe damage to buildings, um, not only hail, storm, water, um, you know, and, and then also to contents, you know, where the, the damage was to such an extent that the water got into the buildings. And then also, unfortunately, a lot of vehicles that got damaged by the, um, by the hailstorm. We've received uh, claims from the Santon area coming through to Midrand. Mm. Uh, so tell me something, Mr. Van Furen. Um, insurance companies, for instance, before we give advice to those who are seeking insurance, um, have you always had a clause that would uh, assist your clients in covering for, covering for vehicle and home uh, damage due to Mother Nature? Or is it something that is only being added now because of what's been happening in South Africa lately? No. So, so, you know, if you go and look at your short-term insurance policy, you must be one must remember that it's not the damage that will determine cover. If you look at your building, you can't say, yes, there's damage to my roof or to the contents inside, um, and therefore I know I've, I've got cover. If you take your policy, there will be a list of happenings that causes the damage. Um, we call it perils in the, you know, the insured perils in the insurance industry. And you must, you as a, an insured must go and make sure that those things are listed that you need covered there. Cover there. Is storm covered? Hail on your vehicle. It's not automatically included. People make the mistake. You can't just um, take the word of any insurer out there that says you're comprehensively insured. And then by the day you have damage like this to your vehicle, where a vehicle is written off, you know, because of the hail damage, go and discover that, you know, hail wasn't included. Talk to your insurer, talk to your broker, make sure that in that list of um, events that causes damage, hail is included, storm is included, then you know that you do enjoy cover for it. It's always been um, in the short-term insurance policies, it's nothing new to enjoy cover for storm on your building, on your house contents and, and on your motor vehicle. In times like these, we need to have it. You know, when you suffer this damage, that premium that, that you pay is a lot smaller than the damage that you suffer. Mm. Oh, all right. So it's a lot smaller because I'm imagining that a lot of people will try and save money. I mean, there are people who even cancel insurance altogether because of how life, uh, how tough life has been recently. So not advisable. Masef, we see it every day. You mm. know, it is sad that people do it. Make sure that you're, you've got proper insurance in place. We've got a healthy competition in our country. We keep premiums as low as possible. We've seen it in Atel with properties just completely taken away by that flooding. We've seen um, fires like the fires we saw a few years ago in Nasna. Now it's these hell storms that we see all, um, in most parts of the country, see the, this, the, 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 um, you know, the flooding that happened in the Cape as well. 
Be careful, don't miss that insurance premium. You must remember if you didn't pay that premium, you don't enjoy cover for that monthly period that would have been covered. You can't go and miss two, one or two premiums and think you're going to pay it later, you know, when you suffer the damage. Don't make that mistake. Keep your cover in place. Mm. All right. And when you do uh, check for, um, you know, whether or not your insurance company is covering you uh, for um, hailstorm damage or whatever else uh, happens in terms of Mother Nature, uh, what exactly should you be looking out for? For instance, uh, there are people who had parked their cars, like what happened in KZN last year. Uh, some of them had been in the offices and with their cars parked in the parking lots and those parking lots caved in and the car was basically just written off. Should you also check for nitty gritties yeah. like that or just to say any um, eventualities due to nature, please cover? Yes, so if, if there's circumstances where, um, you know, you suffer a loss like that, the smallest circumstances, that, that won't make a difference. You know, they could. I haven't seen insurance policies that go to the extent and say they're going to exclude cover if your cars park in a certain area, you know, if a storm occurs like this. The most important for you is to make sure that you do enjoy cover for hail if you're in a part of our country where hail can happen. You know, we know that there's places in Cape Town or, or, or in the Southern Cape, Western Cape, you know, where they've never seen hail. Um, if you're in that area and you happen to not have the cover, then it's fine. But make sure it's included in your policy. And then what I also recommend is we are privileged to have a warning on most of these storms. If you um, keep yourself in a group, make sure that you're well informed. If you know that, that it's coming, make sure that your car is rather parked under the roof if it's possible. Um, you know, and, and um, take that extra steps to make sure that you're not exposed to it. Be also careful if you're on the road. I've heard of people that, that, that drive in underneath the bridges and park there. We've seen other incidents there of people being hijacked. Don't just do that. Make sure that you find the nearest filling station or a place where you can, where, where you know you're going to be safe. Get there as soon as possible and make sure that you you get under roof. But where you park during the daytime or nighttime, you know your your plan can't be rejected because of that. Mm. What's the difference, if any, if it's somebody who owns a car dealership, for instance, like what we saw uh, in Midrand? Obviously, they have to be insured. Uh, but, uh, you know, what, what, is, what more should they do uh, compared to a person who's, dry, who's uh, buying one vehicle and insuring one vehicle, their personal vehicle? What should a person who owns, um, you know, a garage look out for when they're insuring those vehicles and when it comes to Mother Nature? So the insurance cover there is different. Um, you know, mm. on, on the personal line side, you as an individual, you get your policy that will specify exactly what you're covered for. Businesses like that, motor, via, uh, motor dealers, you know, contact your insurer. Um, we as King Price, we go out and we make sure that we know the extent of the risk that a business like, like that runs. And if you have your um, vehicles out um, exposed, the insurer must know that. Make sure that you still have your cover um, in place, you know, with storms like this and pay the necessary premium. Make sure that, if, you know, if your business suffer this damage that, you know, you know that you're covered for it. Mm. All right, Venon, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us here on ENCA. Venon von Furen is a uh, experienced partner at King Price Insurance.